And it goes a little yeah. something like What? <laughs> <laughs> what up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Dumo Podcast. It's your boy Sonam. And your boy Dre Day. You know what it do with my baby. Hey. hey. We're back at it, guys. Another Dumo Podcast. We are at number seven today. Feeling good, feeling great. <laughs> Nothing in the way. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I, we always got to mention it. Um, mm -hmm. Guys, if you are watching this, make sure to leave a like. Mm -hmm. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you are brand new. So, yeah, there's going to be more interesting and entertainment stuff coming up. We got a huge plan coming up. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be super interesting. Yeah, man. Uh, me and Sonny decided on a big major move, which is a solid move for both me and him, him and I. Uh, uh, to further uh, propel this podcast going mm -hmm. forward, so it's gonna it's gonna be crazy and juicy and all the above. So y'all gonna be in, <laughs> enjoying it for sure, you know. So uh, we're yeah. doing it for y'all, for yeah. sure. Definitely, so. like yeah, we we were planning to initially do like um advice and um you know be helpful yeah. mostly, but right now we're all trying to focus on like bringing like entertainment mm -hmm. you know so we want to bring other people on and uh yeah they're, they're pretty much gonna be it's gonna be a guest based show mostly yeah they're know? gonna be they're gonna be here with us too so yes. def so definitely one week me and andre uh -huh. and one week somebody Some else yes yeah. so you know open up our minds open up our pineal glands you know what i'm saying so you guys are gonna be experiencing the best of both worlds all right so, <laughs> without further ado, let's get started with podcast number seven. Damn, I thought we started already. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying with the whole topic. That was the introduction. Hey, I yo, Andre, Obviously. your new hair. I like yeah, it. Yeah, bro. Look cool. It's a different look. It's a different look? Yeah, He's yeah. Just, what happened? I I'm, you're doing that right now, right? Because I know when Tiri comes back, she's going to get tight. <laughs> nah, not even, bro. I just, do, I just did it because my sister was like, yo, you want, you want me to braid your hair? I'm like, mm. all right. Because I, I kept it straight. I just like ponytailed it. I feel like with, with like braids like that, you know, they have that. It looks good when you wear a hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you wear it just like that, it looks weird. Oh, right? no, nah, yeah, it looks weird. I, I was planning on coming here with just, um, literally, I just show you. Like, I could just basically have it off. But if I have it all, <laughs> look goofy, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, look goofy, bro. No, so, but with the hat, look. With the hat, it's like, like oh, I see. it's a good look, you know. Yeah. So I like the like, other one you had. Which one? Where, where it was all around. Oh yeah, nah, that one that, nice. those ones, those ones were good, but um, it was just it looked it looked messy on the sides. Mm. So to me, I was just like, ah, it don't look clean, you know. Yeah. If you want to make it look clean, you have to um, you have to shave off the sides and whatnot, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, yeah, guys, so today we're going to be discussing a lot about personal development and what it means uh, with personal development. I have some key uh, points that I want to point out, actually two major key points uh, that I wanted to point out with personal development. So let's get started. I think the first key point when it comes down to personal development is private victory. So what I mean with private victory it's basically if you were to um, go based off of your core values and things that you uh, value in your life. You, let's say, for example, that you wanted to start waking up at 6 a.m. in the morning. That, to me, is considered a private victory. Why? Because it's not a victory that you'll share with others. It's more so a victory that you share with yourself. You get what I'm saying? So with private victories... It's mostly concentrated on you. And that's what we have to um, uh, uh, attain first, your, 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 yourself. You, got, you have to figure out that, okay, this is a victory that I need to uh, get within myself before I can focus on any, anything else. So with private victories, there's a lot of things that you can... There's a lot of uh, uh, subcategories under private victory. But I think the most important is yourself, right? Your time and um development obviously how you, how would you like your see, to see yourself in the near future you know so when it comes down to self it comes down to simple things like for example waking up at 6 in the morning obviously showering at a certain time you know and um let's say getting your work done 
you know, private victories. Uh, and then uh, when it comes down to self-development, what do you see yourself becoming in the near future? So when you have a goal or, yeah, when you have a goal, you want to definitely reach that goal, right? So when you want to reach that goal, how do you set about reaching that goal or attaining that goal? And one of the best ways I feel is instead of looking at it from a bigger picture first, start small, start daily, then go weekly, and then go through the bigger picture. The bigger okay. picture is an evaluation. It's more so like, okay, this is how I want to be towards the end of my life or you know, the end of uh, my roadmap, my journey. But though that roadmap, that journey consists of little pit stops. Just as if you were going to go on a trip, Sonny, if you wanted to go to California with a car. Obviously, it's not just a one straightaway trip. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's more so, hey, let's stop by Arkansas. Let's stop by Pennsylvania first, Ohio. You know, we pass by the states in order to reach our destination. One of my family members, I think Brolin, Brolin, he went to California. Oh, so yeah, we ha- yeah, we have a family mm-hmm. member that went to California with a car. And I think they started in Ohio. But to me, that that is... That's what I would consider a um, a private private accomplishment, you know, uh, because that's him and his family. Obviously, they, they they've been speaking to me about this for a while. They're like, oh, you know, we're gonna go to California. We're gonna go to California. Blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, cool. So they happen to make it to California. When I seen that, I was like, wow, that's a private victory that they want. That's a self victory that for them, you know, because they're the ones that are enjoying the fruits of their labor, yeah. and uh, and the planning that took place for all of that to happen. You know, I, I haven't visited California yet. Sonny hasn't visited California yet. We will, though. But all of that requires planning. Okay. You know, so, yeah, so he he went on about that. So it's um when, you, when, you, when you're making those little pit stops, that's what I consider your daily and your weekly. Okay. So, like, obviously you have a daily goal, blah, blah, blah. Weekly goal, I, I feel like, is more preferable because it doesn't get you in a state of mind of, like, oh, I got I to gotta do this. I got to do that. It gives you more time. So you, you're a little bit more lenient, but you have to, you have to get things done. Mm, you okay. know? And one of the things um, I learned about private victories is that there's this quadrant. So in quadrants, obviously, you have like four boxes, right? You have, I believe it's, um, you, they go based off import, uh, important and urgent. So those are the things you have to really figure out. So quadrant one, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken it's important and urgent so anything that's like crisis you know like things that 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 need to be uh looked upon now like it needs to happen now you know what it's important and urgent i feel like people live in though in that quadrant most of us do live in quadrant one which is important and urgent quadrant true quadrant two consists of important but not urgent and that quadrant in itself to me is the most important when it comes down to private victories quadrant two i will talk to talk about in a bit but quadrant two consists of things that are yes important but you don't see it as urgent so you don't do it and that's when uh what is that word called uh procrastination kicks in okay so you leave it till last minute and when you leave it till last minute procrastination uh turns your quadrant two and brings it into quadrant one, which you don't want. So you know what a quadrant is, right? Those four, think about just four boxes. Yeah. And they have a cross section. So it's one, two, three, four. Quadrant three is um, things that are important, not urgent, important, urgent. Uh, things that are not important, but urgent. So um, it could be like an um, uh, email from somebody, you know. Um, your 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 mom wanted to email you about oh what what groceries do we need to to take home you know it's urgent but it's literally not that important because you're not you don't you know they don't need to rely on you yeah. for that sort of stuff right you know and then the worst part of the quadrant is quadrant four which is uh, not important and not urgent oh, okay so those things is basically like when you want to just chill and just relax. You do you do whatever needs to be take pla- taken place in quadrant four, okay? So yeah. there's quadrant one, two, three, four. We wanna we wanna mainly focus on quadrant two. That's where we want to live our life, 
and we want to dedicate our private victories on quadrant two. Okay. So that's like, you know, so from what I've been reading, from, I, from what I've been researching, quadrant two is important because it helps you, it helps you uh, dictate your life from a bigger perspective than you would on a daily time frame. Because the daily time frame, obviously, you have 24 hours within the day. And most of the time, you're sleeping. Or at least eight hours throughout the day on a good sleeping schedule. Eight hours is what is required for you to sleep, right? So what are you going to do for the rest of the 16 hours, you know? And if you're bum-rushed into doing certain things, obviously, the results wouldn't, or the outcome wouldn't come out as great. So when you're thinking about private victories and you come and you're rushing your... You're, ru- you're rushing the process, and then your outcome is going to become crappy, shitty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. You have papers you have to do. You put it off to last minute when it could have been, you know, um, uh, what is it called? Evaded. Uh, you could have done it maybe like a week earlier, things like that. So all of that ties in, and it focuses on you uh, bettering yourself and focusing on quadrant two. That's what I need to work on. Quadrant two is, you say it's important, but... Not urgent. Not urgent. Okay. And that's that's what we need to focus on here. Okay. Important so but not urgent. important but not urgent. So I think um uh, yeah some great examples yeah is uh, for people that are going through college and stuff like that. We we go through the procrastination phase, and right now I'm talking about quadrant two. So quadrant two is basically like projects that are let's say for example oh this is due, you have eight weeks of school for example right this is due on the uh, sixth week of school their project, you know? Mm-hmm. At the moment, you're thinking, oh, that's, that's pretty far. Six weeks out is like, oh, I have time. That's the worst thing you want to ever say. I have time. Mm-hmm. No, you don't have time, bro. Like, it's going to catch up to you and if you slack off, it's, uh, it's going to be bad in the long run because you're going to end up facing quadrant one. And quadrant one is what people usually go off of. Crisis, things of the immediate nature, and all of that could have been avoidable. But let's focus on quadrant two. So quadrant two, one of the things that we want to focus on is even though it isn't urgent, we have to look at it from a monthly or weekly basis and be like, we have to make it urgent. Okay. So we don't fall in the trap, right? So for me, I think a good or a great way to set yourself apart from other people is getting a planner. Whether it be digital or whether it be tangible, get yourself a planner. You know, okay. So, so pretty much you're saying like private victory, kind of like doing things into like small increments. Yes. To, okay. Yeah, small increments, um, but you're working towards a bigger goal. Yeah. And that's going to lead up to a public victory. Okay. But we're working on private victories here so far. So it's more of so our private victory, I could probably say, is personal development. You know? Uh, yeah. It's your personal. Then it becomes interpersonal where it becomes you and other people. You know, a public victory, if I could just skip a little bit ahead, is uh, Sonam and I's podcast channel. That's a public victory yeah. for both of us. It includes two people. Okay. Yeah. A private victory would be me uh, coming out and editing the videos on time. That would be considered a private vic- victory for me. Oh, if I, if I were to edit the video on time, that's a private victory. You know, a mm-hmm. private victory for you might be, oh, let's say... Um, you wanted to make a certain amount uh, of money throughout the week, mm-hmm. right? You wanted to make like $2,000 throughout the week. That's a private victory for you. Okay. So all in all, we all have different priorities. And that's the thing that you want, I want to uh, let you guys know and keep a key note is priorities is important. Uh, we all have priorities. We all have different, um, we all have different uh, things that we go through throughout the day. My day is not going to be the same day as your day. Because we set our priorities straight, right? We have to set our priorities straight. And I, this is this is one of the most important quote I I've, I've learned. Uh, it is. Let me say this right. Don't let your. Don't let. Uh, don't schedule your priorities, but let your priorities schedule you. So what it is is like, don't have a schedule. Right, and try to fit try to fit a major part of your priority in. In, in, in like the first part of your schedule what you want to do is you want to schedule out your day in order of priority so whatever you prioritize first 
Then afterwards, the second priority, third priority, until it becomes the least priority, the least, the, the least most priority that you have. You know, right. that's how you would go about the week. And that to me, when I when I uh, sought out this information, was an astounding information when it comes down to private victories at first. Okay. I will discuss public victories sometime down the line in in another podcast. But if we got if we can focus on ourselves first before. I wouldn't say it's selfish. It's more so you taking care of yourself. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because how can I take care of you if I can't even take care of myself? Mm-hmm. If I can't be, what's the word? Uh, gov- not governed. Uh, if I can't be organized. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All, all of that comes into organization. Like if you're able to organize yourself, organize your time. And personal development is similar to you have, um, pers- yeah, personal development is similar to you um, organizing your life. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're managing your life. Obviously, we're, we're born coming into this world. We have to manage ourselves, you know. After par- our parents take care of so our, uh, after our parents take care of us, managing ourselves becomes our priority. So we have to figure that out. And I think people fall under the trap of, oh, I'm going to let, uh, you're going to rely on people, Right to figure out your life for you no you have to figure that shit out by yourself Mm -hmm. and then once you do figure out the shit by yourself then you can rely and delegate uh parts of your life to other people delegation is a more more so a trust process you know like i trust you to do certain things that i don't even have to um uh supervise you for i'm saying like if i if i were to go to sunny and be like hey uh, yo, Sonny, can you hold down this two thousand dollar bag for me? Like, I trust him enough that I I know he wouldn't like use it or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's 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 the part of delegation. But when it comes down to private victories, that's the key note that I wanted to explain to you guys. And for those of you guys that are watching, to keep in mind that it's not a selfish act. It's more so getting your your life together. Okay. Okay. Yeah, when it comes sense, down yeah. to personal development, yeah. So. That's what you got for personal level. Yeah. yeah I was trying to listen. I understand what you were saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thing, the, when you say private victory, what I'm trying to understand is like pretty much private victory. You're trying to say that just you are doing the things that are, you're doing little things that's like going to make you hit your bigger goal. So pretty much it's like, Cause what I I'm, what I'm trying to understand from private victory is like mm-hmm. you're, you're trying to say that pretty much you're doing things behind the scenes. Right? Yeah, yeah. So essentially, instead of like um, a man. public victory. Yes, yeah, instead of like not public victory, mm-hmm. more like instead of doing things for your you're doing things for yourself. Yeah. Right. You're doing little things for yourself, but you're not really giving it out to the public. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so okay. Uh, but what does like personal growth have to do with? Private victory and public victory. What personal growth has to do with it is basically personal growth consists of uh, private victories first and then public okay. victories. So private victory is just one part of the whole personal development uh, characteristic, right? So, yeah, private victories focuses on yourself and your, you could say your little mini battles. And then if, if I could uh, put this into analogy... Let's say we're in a war, right? The battles are... The famous battles that you would recall are private, private victories. The famous battle, right? Other famous battles that you win with your, you know, with your other teammates or whatnot is a public victory, right? All that together contri- contributes to a war, right? So when it comes down to private victories, it's just the little battles that you have within yourself, so if you have problems with yourself, let's say you have a problem of waking up or you have a problem uh, with this other person, right? If you can talk yourself out of that problem, get yourself out of that situation, that's considered a private victory. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Okay, but like, because right now what you're trying to do is you're trying to give advice for people to personally develop, right? Yeah. So like, it's kind of f- confusing saying pr- private victory because you're not really going into detail on how you, what you should do mm. you know what i'm saying okay. you're just generalizing like saying yeah like I, I that that's more of a that's more so a generalization 
But when it comes down to private victories, I think I, ha- I wasn't clear enough. But it's more so organizing your time. Your time. Right? Okay. Organizing your time. And that's why uh, I think in the beginning I was uh, speaking a little bit of, of how you could uh, look, have an outlook from monthly, weekly, and daily perspectives. Okay. Yeah. Um, respectively, the, da- the daily is what I've said uh, it relates to quadrant one. Okay. And when I speak about quadrants, I hope you guys know what quadrants are. But quadrants are essentially if you draw a, back, a box, you draw a line in the middle and a, a horizontal line across. So one and three right here, uh, two and four, you know, right next to each other. And when I say quadrants, I want us to focus on quadrant two. When, I, uh, when it's quadrant two, that's more or so the uh, important but not urgent. You know, to to make it more simple, like mm-hmm. pretty much what you're trying to say is like, you have a big goal. Your let's say for example, your goal is to hit ten thousand in three months, right? You do the math. Monthly, where how much you have to make monthly? Okay, how much you have to make weekly? Mm-hmm. And then you break it down to how much you have to make a day. So pretty much you say that focus on the pretty much the daily things. Yeah. Instead of w- waiting like. Till the end, trying yeah. to make that ten thousand dollars. Then you're gonna have to work ten times as hard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you're so putting yourself in that position. Okay. Where it's like, oh, why am I struggling? Well, you sh- shouldn't have struggled because you had all that time. Because oh, yeah. we do have, we do have time. I know this contradicts with me saying like you don't have time, but we do have time when we plan it out. Okay. Mm-hmm. When we plan out certain things, we do have time, and then. People complain about, oh, you know, I don't have time for this and that because of work. You have to make your own time. And that that solely depends on how you see yourself in certain situations, you know? So, yeah, quadrant two is the thing that we want to really focus our life on because it gives you a big, uh, much more broader perspective. Instead of you living a life where you're rushed almost 24-7, if you live in a life where you take it calm, you take it easy, but you know you've planned throughout the day or the week for the week, you should be fine. There, sh- there shouldn't be no sense of urgency if, and no sense of rush if you've planned out your week, your month, okay. your year. All right. you know? So planning out is an important role in private victories. All right? All right. So Yeah, so I'm going to like, pick back enough um, like personal development. Uh-huh. I think like... For what I experience when I'm always trying to like better myself, I do things that's I try to figure out what's what I dislike about myself. Like you gotta figure out and ask yourself what you dislike about yourself. Whether it's you don't have enough money, you don't like the place you live in, you don't like you wanna move out, something like that. Hmm. You gotta figure out what you don't like. And then you should work on it. Whether like for me, like I personally back then I, I really was like, yo, I'm kind of broke. Like, I don't have money, you know? So I'm like, yo, how can I make more money? Mm. Then that was, m- like, that's for me, my, my personal self. So you got to figure out, like, if you don't like the way you look, if you don't like the way you are, like, your weight, you're insecure, you're like, oh, I'm fat, this and that. Like, you got to you gotta focus on that one yeah. thing. And a lot of people, they want to focus on so many other th- things that's not really important. Yeah. You know? So figure out what's really important to you and figure out what you dislike about yourself you know because mm-hmm. people there's always room for improvement yeah, a lot yeah. of people got to work on themselves and the f- one th- advice that i say is like this focus on yourself and nobody else mm-hmm. like always think about yourself like yeah. you have to be greedy you have to be selfish and yeah. it's people might say it's fucked up but you you it's have to be yeah you have to be uh selfish and just focus on doing things that's gonna better yourself yeah so it's better it's better to um live a life where it benefits you and yeah like we we've explained this many times it's not being selfish it's just more so looking after yourself because in the end i think i think if i could if i could um really just paraphrase this in the end the most important people that matters is yourself because you're going to die not with somebody else next to you but you're going to die alone you know what i'm saying so no one's gonna, you know, no one's gonna really take care of you unless you take the initiative to take care of yourself. So figure out in your life what you need, uh, what you need help with, what you need better improvement on, and then work from there. Remember, life's a marathon and it's not a sprint, so you always have you always have time, you know. So 
for those people that think, oh, it's the end of the world if I don't pass this class, how important is that class to you? You know, if it's not as important as your life, do not ever, because I know there's whole thoughts about like suicide and I've, I've been reading a, a lot recently lately on the news where people have killed themselves and there's an, actually this, this recent news where a lady was living on 34th Street uh, around Hudson Yards. She jumped out of the, the 60 story building with her dog. With her dog, wow. What makes you go through that experience? That, that to me is traumatic because you've, you've decided, first of all, you've taken the initiative to end your life, but the dog has got nothing to do with it. Like, yeah, damn. You know, for you to kill a dog as well the in the process. The d- yeah, well, yeah, 64, 64 yeah. bro. Shit. You know? And um, there's this Instagram that I follow. His name is Goldfather. He's, he trades a lot of like, uh, he, he's mostly into like trading gold and whatnot. And he, I think he got, uh, he got uh, um, interviewed by the news. I believe it was ABC7 or something like that. So what, what they asked him was he, on the day that she died, he, ha- he received a paper plane, literally from the sky. Like, I don't know, someone threw it from somewhere else uh, that says, oh, love yourself, blah, blah, blah. Like, um, there's always a way out. But the guy... It's funny, the Instagram that I follow, he received that. And then later down the line, like within the day, then he heard about the girl dying. And he, he put it up, he put, he put on his Instagram, if I could have just thrown that paper plane one more time and it, it could have reached her. Yeah, wow. Is that crazy? Yeah, that is crazy. I was like, well, I was shocked. <laughs> I was like, whoa, imagine if he did. But obviously, I don't know what story he lives on, but the lady jumped from a 60 story floor. But, you know, it was moments like that. You know, it's it, it becomes a crisis. It's a it's a it's a it's a life crisis. Mm-hmm. You know, for you to really think about it, like if you're in the middle of your life, you know, for you to jump out of a you know sixty story building just to end your life, like you must have been really going through some things. You know, yeah. so that's why, like, men- the the mental state of mind that we all have, we have to protect it always, because we don't want to end up in those type of scenarios. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So. That's why, like, I always pray for myself. You know, I pray for my family. I pray for my friends. You know, if you're religious or not. Whether or not you're religious, just have that positivity to really reach out to others. And if you see somebody struggling, always help them out. You know? Yeah. That, that in itself, helping somebody out, ha- helping somebody out is a public victory. Mm-hmm. But, you know, so. But that was, that was, that was the craziest story yeah, that, that I've heard crazy, when, yeah. when she, you know, when she yeah. jumped off the, the 60 stories. I was like. Crazy. Yeah, but speaking about, like, uh, mental health, uh, you know, what I noticed about, like, even, like, uh, personal, like, de- development, what yeah. you're talking about, um, the thing about growing and the thing about doing things is, like, what I learned is that you got to be mindful of doing things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to be mindful in your judgment. You know how there's times, like, you ever catch yourself eating? Uh-huh. And you're not even just thinking you're eating and then you're like, oh shit, I'm eating kind of fast. Mm. And you're like, yo, I got to kind of slow down a little bit, you know? Like, okay. So it's kind of like being mindful in little things that you don't really pay attention to. But when you do little things like that, like have little triggers that make you into doing better things. Mm-hmm. So you also want to make like better decision right, right. into what you do. Okay. That could be like, hey... There's a piece of chocolate right in the f- front of you. Mm. You're being mindful, like, yo, like, I'm kind of on a diet, this and that. Like, let me not eat that. So it's like, that's one thing about what I noticed about, like, growing as a person is, like, being mindful. Yeah, I feel you. And judging off, like, uh, like the mental health part is, like, a lot of mental issues come from being, like, unhealthy, having bad eating habits. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cause I heard like I don't know if it's true, but I heard like when you when people have a bad mental state, whether they have an anxiety and stuff like that, it it's like chemical imbalance. Chemical imbalance. What do you in mean your body? It? Like oh, like toxins or yeah, like yeah, kind of like toxins entering your body because you're not eating the right f- food. Mm-hmm. It is either you're having too much sugar. You know, when you have too much sugar, your body goes into a phase like a lot of energy, then you just crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you keep <laughs> on doing it. Consistently is going to have like You won't have The energy you need to survive True So it's like 
try to I, I always tell people like try to make better decisions yeah better in, decisions in, in like eating and like hey you're like maybe I shouldn't be home all day maybe I should go to the gym you know mm-hmm. something like that yeah, yeah, yeah. and that in, that in itself is 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 you figuring out figuring out what's uh what's wrong with your life you know what you see is not appropriate for your health and you decide to take the initiative to start going either whether you be going to the gym whether it be just walking around the park those little steps those little things that you do throughout your day will help you build an even uh a better process of getting into your daily and then and then into your weekly and then your monthly goals because all you need is that little push you know and the rest of that push comes from your drive comes from how bad do you really want to how how bad do you really want it do you want to look as good or do you want to just look so so do you want to look you no know, do you want to you know uh, control your eating habits or you just you know you're just all about the talk and really not about that action you get you get what i'm saying so all of that ties into personal development and i believe it all ties in with the quadrants that i was speaking about urgent not urgent, important, not important. All of that ties into effect. So we have to really view our life within those quadrants so we have a better understanding of where we are. And don't lie to yourselves. Like, don't say that, you know, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a person in quadrant two because I get things done on time. Like, okay, let's, let's, let's really rewind, take a step back, and make sure that you're, you are telling the truth. Because, you know, ha- if you feel like you are telling the truth and you're not lying, great for you. But have another, have a, have a third party come in and evaluate your life as well to make sure that you're not lying to yourself. Because we lie to ourselves most of, like, a lot of the times. Like, trust me, I lie to myself sometimes. I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm still looking good. But then, like, I know deep inside, your subconscious, I'm like, yo, I'm gaining a little weight. Like, I'm 175 now, 178, yeah. <laughs> you know? So we have to really measure ourselves with a third party. Have somebody else measure you. Have somebody else evaluate your life. Yeah. Evaluate okay. your thought process and things like that. You know? So that's that's a quick segment that I wanted to yeah. get out the way when it comes down to PD. And uh, I feel like everyone that has uh, problems pertaining to this discussion or pertaining to this topic in mind, feel free to comment down below and let us know your insight and your input and how it has, you know, maybe personal development has impacted your life and you feel like it has bettered you in uh in a way please feel free to share the information that you have uh down below you know we'll feel we'll we'll definitely be glad to read up on your comments and you know uh comment back and reply back to uh the statements you posted you know yeah that was good that was good yeah just wanted to to share that you know wanted to learn a little something (laughs) (laughs) have you know the olympics was been going on i definitely i was i'm missing out on the olympics i don't don't keep up with that i I feel like I know it's boring. Olympics, really? Come on. I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been hearing a lot about uh, the Olympics with basketball, and I believe they recently lost to oh, France. Yeah. Amer- I think USA lost to France, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm like, bro, you're USA. <laughs> you got like, you, you have NBA. Players. We yeah, we have the best players. We have players coming from overseas. How do you lose? You that's, know, that's funny. But you know, obviously, you know, we're not in the position to be judging those type of people. You I know, think they're, they're underpaid NBA. like crazy. Who? The, the NBA Olympics. players? No, the Olympics. Oh, the Olympics? The we mean in general, like people Olympics. just don't get paid? or Yeah, they get paid like very little compared to the amount of money they're making. True. It's it's because it's, it, it just revolves itself around the culture because Olympics have been there for a long time. Yeah. You know, it's I believe it's, it's if I'm not mistaken, it started in Greece. That's mm. where the Olympics started from. That's why they have the like the they have those whatever it's called the 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 crown that you put on top of your head if you oh, yeah. win like first second third place yeah but i think it originated in greece if not mis- if i'm not mistaken but yeah and then they just added you know all but these still, sports like, they um, they're getting underpaid like crazy mm-hmm. like even i heard joe rogan said that like joe rogan on his podcast he was like yo these motherfucking olympic the people that's like running it yeah. they're like assholes mm. cuz the amount of um money these guys are getting because they're like remember they're getting the best athletes in the world right yeah and except aside from USA you know there's Japan you know they don't really get paid a lot like these athletes right in America do mm-hmm. so like I heard they get paid like almost like 15 20,000 just to go to the Olympics yeah they sh- 
Joe Rogan said that yo, these the amount of money the Olympics is making, yeah, like these athletes should be getting paid like way more. More? Yeah. I think when it comes down to, to that type of sense, bro, I think it's more of the culture than it is than it is monetary. Okay. I, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's more so like you're bringing up the environment of keeping a sustainable Olympic, you know, rather than, oh, I'm going to the Olympics because I want to get paid. It's more so like, you know, if we, you know, um, you know how the parks, they have their like, a, you know, annual blah, 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 like annual basketball tournament. It's because they do it. They, they, uh, they do it for the culture. That's what they phrase yeah, it as. But a lot of people, they survive off of. No, I understand, uh, but off of uh, off of the the like, the payments that yeah, they that's give. Yeah, that's their job. Oh, for Olympics, oh, and training, okay. training, training, training. Like and I then w- finally after four years, because it happens every four years. Yeah, and after the when finally when the four years come, and imagine you're getting shit paid working all the f- mm. hard years. No, I agree. I agree. I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. Like yeah, like the point is like understand if nobody's getting paid, but the people like wherever country it's in. Yeah. They're getting paid the most, you know. Also, oh, so people from Japan are getting paid because right yeah. now it's in Tokyo, and they're getting paid the, the most. So it's pretty much whoever hosts it, whatever country hosts it, they they're getting paid a shit ton of money. Mm-hmm. So they're keeping it for themselves. The people that like, really, yeah, that's what's like kind of messed up. I I get I get I get what you're saying with that because I think I, I really took this out of perspective because when I think about the Olympics. Uh, I, I didn't think about all those people that do gymnastics as well because that's part of the Olympics, you know. And these people that do gymnastics, I don't know how their their, their payment system goes or how, how they make money. I really don't know. Maybe they make money from sponsorships or, you know, advertisement. You know, what is that called? Um, Yeah, sponsorships, right? They put them on ads and stuff like that on like yeah. TV news sources and stuff like that. So I'm not too sure how they make their money. Maybe they do have a second job. But again, like I said, it... It's for the culture. Okay. And that's, that's to me what I see it as, you know, even though, yeah, you might get crappy pay, but some, some people see it as a way of, okay, this is going to be extra bonus for me because I'm, you know, like, yeah, like for, for example, if, if I'm Kevin Durant and I'm playing basketball for Team USA, like, I'm not thinking of money anymore because I made so much of my money yeah, back at the States. That's like 0.1% of that, those people mm-hmm. compared to the, the total, yeah, the total, the total amount, yeah. No. So it's kind of like, of course, like they po- they probably don't mind, but I'm talking yeah. aside from like other athletes, you know. And there's mm-hmm. a lot of athletes, yeah. But yeah, they, I, I'm doing the research right now. They say that they get paid twenty thousand a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's even less that's than minimum wage. Little, yeah. Wow. So I think they said that some athletes like they have they're creating like GoFundMe page. Mm. So many of them. That's where they're like, oh, why are they getting paid like underpaid? Okay. So yeah, I'm doing the thing. They said that almost like eleven thousand people. Right. Was like broke. I think they did like a whole. Uh, if you could do, if you could do a quick research, how how much people are in the Olympics in the Olympics right now? What's the no, what's the total number of people in the Olympics? Like the total number of athletes? Because I know they divide it into like you know categories like different sports and things like that. So I just want to know how what's the total. Uh, amount. ten thousand. Ten thousand people. Wow, that's a lot. How many athletes in the total is 10,000 years? 10,000 within that Olympic. Wow. Mm, 206 nations. Jeez. Yeah, I think it's uh, plus um, Bhutan is, is, is our first uh, time qualifying for the Olympics this year. Oh, yeah? yeah? So, yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. Crap. I mean, what, what, type of, what type of sport? Uh, archery, I think. Hey, I would figure. Because, yo, don't your uncle do archery, yeah. bro? It's, it's, a thing, it. yeah, it's a Bhutanese oh, thing. it's a Bhutanese thing. thing. Yeah, ar- archery. I would, I would figure they'd probably get, like, first place because they're really that nice. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe let's see. Let's see, bro. <laughs> I mean, I've, we have to go archery, bro. I'm I, with I've it. never, I've never done be nice. it before. Have you done it before? Nah, I never did. That's some uncle. We gotta do. I told my uncle to like to like train me. Like mm-hmm. I'll go, but he wants me. There's this one in uh, Long Island City. Mm-hmm. We should try it. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm down for that. Yeah, I wanted to give it a shot because I've always I remember your uncle showing me. And I'm like, oh snap! Like archery looks. Yo, archery looks badass. You know, I didn't I didn't know how dangerous archery is. Oh yeah. Like pulling the bow back. Uh huh. What's what? What can go wrong? You're okay, just shooting so an arrow. You know how you pull the bow back. You know it's heavy. It's like there's like different kind. There's a thirty pound. There's a fifty pound uh-huh. strength. So when you have like a fifty pound, it's a fifty. They say fifty pound because it feels like you're lifting fifty pounds. Ah. So, 
one time my uncle said that one guy he didn't have this um you know they have like a metal thing over here where it's like it protects you from that thing so sometimes you might move your arm a little bit like this and then uh, you don't want that metal wire hitting your skin so he said that that guy didn't have it he pulled it back he let go he said all he felt is the arrow and all he see is flesh and blood just comes out Ew. it took out his whole like most of his skin i'm like oh man i didn't know archery could be that dangerous Oh, yeah, so his, so his whole forearm skin came off? Yeah, like most of it, like a chunk. Did you see, like... Ah. Oh, man, man, did he get it, with... like... Did he go back to... Did he go get, get hospitalized? Yeah, you have to go, of course. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> you get infected, Can you get yeah. it stitched? Or is he good now or no? They probably just got to put, like, cooling pads and everything. Oh. Thing, cause they got to let it regenerate by itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, I didn't know it was that dangerous. It's, that's what? freaking crazy. I was thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, all you got to do is just... Pull a bow, pull the you know yeah. the the string, the arrow, and then the arrow and like let it fly, you yeah. know, let it grip, bah, you know, but that's it's, it. It's heavy though, but it's, it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. Oh, so let's start off with the beginning. Five pounds. Let's start off with five, something light, you know. Let's just go like twenty meters, not too far. No, twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Oh, 20, twenty pounds. pounds is the lowest I think. 20. Yeah, but like how in in terms of distance, like like I know some people do like hundred meter distance. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's kind of far, you know. Yeah. Hundred meters is deep. Hundred meters. My uncle, he shoots 200 yards, two, two football <laughs> yards. You know how far? Football f- yeah, that's deep. Yeah, but his bow could go that far. I don't know what oh, it is. Oh, okay, okay, He's like okay, 200 okay. yards. I'm like, damn, 200 yards is huge. Yeah, that's long. It's that's like long. two football fields. Yeah, for sure. Well, you know, obviously we play football before, so we know what yardage oh, is. Like, damn, how can you even see that little target? Does he wear glasses? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. But yeah, how do you see that little target? Like, yeah, are you just that's like... crazy. You just like... And I think you play for money. Mmm... Wow, that's yeah. great. I think we should try. I think we should try it. Just get our feet wet in it and then see whether or not we like it. Cause I do want to I do want to get nice with like a gun. A gun? Yeah, oh, because okay. like, like you think about it like this like let's say if some shit happens, right? And right now. If you can pistol right in front of you. I don't even know how to reload that shit. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we played CS:GO before. I think we should know. No, but it's different, bro. It's like mechanic. The mechanic oh. is different. Oh yeah, it's not like the gaming experience. It's not just like I heard like it gets jammed in real life. Your gun jams like uh, often. I'm like, oh damn. Yeah, because I know you're supposed to reload bullets. That's f- so. From what we know, is that you're supposed to put the bullets in the cartridge, and then snap it in, cock it back. That's from what I've seen in YouTube videos and from what I've seen in game mm-hmm. in games, you know. And then once you cock it back, obviously the bullet is in the chamber. And then once you press the trigger, then the bullet flies off. Yeah. But and that's not even the bullet. And then when the gun jams, what do you do? You throw away the gun. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it, you die. That's it, you die. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, yeah, okay. So we would have to. Yeah, we definitely would have to. Yeah, we I would want to go. But you've been to a gun range before, Yeah, did you? I did. Oh, but so he you didn't know. T- he didn't, like, teach us how to, like, reload. He just let me shoot the gun. Uh, he was just shooting the gun. I wanted to, like... But he said you got to take classes for that. Ah, okay. Don't you, like a license? Sense. Yeah. Mm, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's fire, though. Yeah, yeah I but I want to bring up this news. About what? Um, You know, J- you know JK Films, right? It's uh-huh. like huge right now. It's like trending right now. JK Films? Okay. Jake, you know, Bart and Joe. Yeah, yeah. So like, yo, di- pretty much this is my thoughts on the whole situation with the drama. So pretty much one cast member, yeah, Tiffany. I don't know if you know her. Yeah, the Tiffany. Mexican girl. Yeah, the Mexican girl. Bart and Joe. So pretty much they, she had a whole video saying like, oh, they kicked her out. <gasps> no. Like they just dropped her. They just dropped her. And the, like, yo, no, she's been in the company for like 10 plus years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, she's yeah. like family to them. But she was like, on her video, she was kind of saying like, hey, like, you know, these guys, you know, I'm grateful. You know, yeah, they yeah. gave me a platform that they were doing it on, like, you know, that they gave me. Mm. And they gave me an opportunity. I'm making a lot of money. Yeah. And pretty much she, her point was that she got upset at them because they didn't give her a one month leave pay. Oh, okay. You know? For what though? For leaving, like an exit pay. Oh, oh like oh, to she, survive. Oh, so, she, so she wants. She wanted to leave. Yeah, she wanted to leave. The company. She said she wasn't happy. Okay. So she initially, her intention was like she wanted to leave, mm-hmm. but like, but like the way she made it seem like she made it seem like Bart and Joe was like some messed up dudes. Because when I Gio. watched that video, uh-huh. Bart and Joe, not Bart Gio. and Joe. Okay, okay. So she made them look really bad. Ah, and even my sisters and my brother, they're like, "Yo, that's kind of messed up." And even my, I'm like, that, "That's kind of messed up." But I'm like, "There gotta be some details missing out." Yeah. So when David Soul, he came out with a podcast and he was talking about the whole drama about what he was, what Bart and Joe was doing for these guys, these employees. Mm-hmm. Bro, you know, 
you know how they have JK News. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They will work one they will work I think one uh once a week. Okay. So they only work once a week for that company. Yeah. They were paying those employees six hundred a day. That's good. And they were paying her oh. nine hundred <gasps> a day. Yo. And they're only working once a week. They're only working once a week, but they're they're paying nine hundred a day. A day. So in a week, she's making essentially like seven yeah. bands. But pr- pretty much, she will work six days out of the month. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So like, she didn't. Her problem. What I got irritated. Her problem was that she wasn't getting really into detail of what they were doing and how much they were getting paid. Mm. It made it seem like she was going broke. It made it seem like she had no money, like she really needed the money. Yeah. That's what I want to... Because I'm watching as a fan, because I'm a huge fan of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm watching it from what video she put out and the details she was giving me. So it made it seem like she didn't have no money. Yeah. But David Soul said that she's making more money than Joe and... Because she does have other businesses. Who, Tiff? Tiffany. So... All right. They're saying, like, David Soul says she's a boss bitch. I'm sure her intention is not to make them look bad. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure, I know she has a problem of explaining things. Because mm. I watch, like, the videos, you know. I yeah. can tell she has problem with explaining. But, yeah, I found out that she was getting 900 a day. And, um, they like, they, uh, when, when uh, JK Films had, like, a big brand deal, like, a huge deal with another company... You know what JK, you know what Bart and Joe did? Mm. He gave to employees not a bonus check, he gave them percentage. Wow. So equity within within yeah. the project. A lot of like think about Tiffany, like, yo, a lot of companies they don't do that shit for you. Yeah. On top of that, they wouldn't even give you bonus. On top of that, they wouldn't give you nine hundred a day. <laughs> I think her only problem was that she got upset that they didn't give her a monthly pay. But when she came out with another video, video yesterday, she was saying that she only got upset at Bart and Joe because they offered her an exit pay instead of giving it to her. Uh, so they're uh, like, hey, do you do you want the exit pay? If you don't want it, if you really need it, we'll give it to you. Yeah. I don't see nothing wrong with that. No, there isn't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Because you got to think about it like this. Like the shit and the amount of things they've done for you and giving you bonuses, and they're paying you 900 a day for a day of work. Mm. It's like, you kind of got to think like, hey, these are my family. And I understand why they offered it, because they're going broke. Who? Who? JK Films. That's okay. where they open up a Patreon. That's what David said. So, like, mm. they're, not, 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 they're not going broke. Yeah. More like their company is going down. Okay. Like, they're not making money as they used to. Yeah. You know? Now, you know, because their they're, they're contact is more like, um, she not not advertiser friendly, so it's like mm. kind of like controversial. You know what I'm saying? So oh, like I see. YouTube don't don't allow that. Yeah. So I see why their 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 content is going out. Uh huh. So like, I feel like hey, they they offered you and you kind of took it the wrong way. Yeah. Because if you ever have your family and you will understand like hey maybe, like they can't pay me. I'm good. I have money. Mm. You know I have money. I'm set. I really don't need the exit pay. But I think that that was just my whole thought on it. Yeah, yeah. I think the way that she, I think f- for me, the way that I, uh, I see this this whole dilemma play out is Tiffany had a bunch of opportunities that was given from JK Film. Just just the opportunity of you being in JK Films is a huge one. You know, mm-hmm. that's a huge win for yourself. That to me, Tiffany. <laughs> it's a personal victory. It's a private victory for you to be able to be in the cast of JK Films. JK Films, right? Or yeah. JK News. JK, both. Both of them. Bro, both both YouTube channels. And they have a mass amount of following. I think the way that I would... If I was in t- Tiffany's shoes, the way I would see it, see this is, okay, they gave me an opportunity to be put into their platform, number one. Number two... How am I going to use this opportunity to branch out my own platform? You know what I'm saying? Because you already have... A, now you have a mass amount of following as well. Not as much as JK Films or JK News or not as much as uh, Bart and Geo or Bart and Joe. But you have much more than the average person. Oh, yeah. That's definitely probably just starting off. Yeah. Heck, you have more than us that's just starting off, you know? And for you to, to come out that way, I'm not here to judge, but for you to come out with a video... 
And even though you might not see it as wrong, but just for you to exploit uh, those two gentlemen, that that to me is 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 the part where she went wrong. Yeah, it's kind of like a stupid move. Yeah, it's a dumb yeah. move. It's like because fre- she's probably petty, like angry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like for example, like if me and Sonam had had differences and we had problems within one another that we feel oh this should be kept private, we would keep it private. It's nothing like oh I don't need to. I would rather keep problems between me and Sonam private, but elevate Sonam's accomplishments. That I think that, that that's said in the Bible too. So if I if Sonam was to mess up on something, I wouldn't publicly publicly announce him and be like, yo, bro, hey, this is blah blah blah. We're messing up here, you know, you messed up. I would be like, Yo, Sonny, we're messing up, you know. Off camera, just tell him straight up. So then he would come back with the initiative, like, oh, he didn't come out here to shame me. It's more so, oh, I'm gonna lift you up, you know? Yeah. Cause then that that in turn is you lifting up a person. Not putting it out in public, yeah. you know. So, and if I were to tell yo, son, good shit on this, blah blah, blah good. you, I would publicize me. Uh, um, I would publicize me. Uh, I would publicize Sonam's accomplishments rather than his, 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 his misdoings or mi- his misgivings. Okay. You know, you know. So, for me, what Tiffany did is just the opposite. I was like, bro, you should just celebrate the fact that you've been put into the greatest opportunity, maybe in your whole life. Who knows? Yeah. But for her to go turn around and flip the card on them is, yeah. it's like a I, fuck you. And, and she also said that their company, uh, you know, Junbi, they have like a bubble tea spot, I think. Kind of like a bubble I heard about it. I'm not too they sure. They have like a bunch of like restaurant stores. So it was just yeah, him, me. Bart, and David. And and they're pretty much investors, you mm-hmm. know. And they have like other people managing. So like they, I heard that even Tiffany said it. She said that Joe was one of the reasons why she got into investing on that company. Because Joe was like, hey, like, please, please, like, this girl is good. Like, we should have her. Bring her to the team, you know, bring her around. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Help her make money, you know, do this. Joe was the one that was initiating, pushing that. Even she said it. Okay. So it was like, she, he gave you another opportunity to do, do that. Like, yeah. be part of the company, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still, like, getting mad over a one-month pay. Yeah, nah. Definitely And on top of that, abortion. not only that, she offered, they offered you, hey, if you need it, yeah, we'll, we'll give it to you. Uh, and she took it the wrong way. Bro, these what females, bro. She needs to be put in fresh fit. Yo, David did. <laughs> I would demo- yo, they would demolish her. Yeah, Tell me not, bro. Yeah. But Dave, yo, David so like, he explained it so much better. Mm. And even my, when I told my sister, like my sister, didn't, they, they don't really like pay attention to like the details of it. They're just like, oh, Bart and Joe's just come back. I'm sure Tiffany, like Tiffany, she's not a bad person. Yeah, you know. You know, but I'm sure she she was in her feelings. Yeah, yeah. She definitely not. And I understand feelings. why you would say that she became a little petty because, yeah, you know, females like you said, like females like think a little bit emotionally sometimes. Yeah, they they emotional. don't they don't think logically like us males, you know, us alphas think a little <laughs> bit more logically. You know, we think about the situation and whether or not we should actually portray it or or show it into the public and or keep it private. Whether or not to to show it out in the public or keep it private is is more so we make the better decisions. You know. Females, they get emotional. That's why I feel like females are more so like caregivers than they are like, you know, when it comes down to business, I think <laughs> yeah. males should, you know, uh-huh. should dominate, you know. And you females out here, you know, want to be tomboys and shit and want to take over. But like, bro, you don't have the mental capacity, mate. You feel me? Right. You know, <laughs> so like control yourself. So, but yeah, well, that's a crazy, I've never, you just told me about the whole news thing. Yeah, I, I never thought that would be in a drama like that. I, at all, because they seemed like a very stable, at least, yeah, a very stable company in which, you know, they kept they kept going strong and they're steadily growing, you know? I don't even know how much subscribers they have. I think they're at a, at a million or more. They have more, over a million. Yeah. Over a million, right? Yeah. Even, 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 even and then. And the personal ch- channels, like, I watch Bart and Geo vlogs. I watch yeah. Joe and Joe vlogs. I watch David Soul's podcast. Mm-hmm. I even watch Tiff and Case, their vlogs. It's entertaining. Casey's the, the, the videographer, right? The yeah, guy who was handled. He was yeah, the first one. She unfollowed. He unfollowed Bart and Joe. Because <gasps> that's his wife. <laughs> I remember that them three is the one that started. Started, like, yeah. Everything. It was Bart, Joe, Joe and Casey. Casey yeah. <gasps> what? Crazy, Whoa, this yeah. is whole new to me. Really? Yeah, recently. You gotta look into the drama. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna look definitely into this drama. So Casey unfollowed Wow. That is But I'm sure he's he, he's supporting his wife. Yeah, I get it. He's supporting his wife. I you gotta do it. what you gotta do. God damn, 
don't know. You can't unfollow the bros. Come True. on, bro. I don't care what my wife says, bro. I am not. If you've been bro since day one, bro, and you've been hold, like they've been holding it down, bro. I know my nigga so. My bad. I know my bro so now since like first kin- first grade kindergarten, bro. I'm not. I don't care what a female mm. tell me. I'm not gonna unfollow you just because we got in a little dispute yeah, or you know like bro. Yeah. That is kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy on Casey's part. Yeah, I'm like, damn, you didn't need to do that, bro. That that that's an altercation between your f- wife and them, not you and them. Yeah. That's a private loss for you, bro. That's a loss for you, Casey. <laughs> bro, I'd be so tight, bro. But it's, I mean, what can you do, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, those circumstances come out and, you know, you think you think really uh, unemotional, uh, emotionally in those certain scenarios. And, you know, sometimes you say things without even realizing. And then it just hurts your whole relationship. Yeah. That's it, man. Yo, but, but besides the fact of all that shit... Uh-huh. Yo, I was like Bart and Gio. Yo, their work ethic is crazy. Both of them. Yeah, both of them. Mm-hmm. They freaking work out every single day. Uh-huh. They're traveling like back and forth from work, and I'm like, no wonder they have the money and yeah. they have the things they have because mm-hmm. their work ethic is like on some other level. Mm-hmm. They go to bed by ten. Okay. They wake up like at six, working out. I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah, like, that is more. that is for me. The way I see that is because they've built. That repertoire, they've built that lifestyle, that schedule, because they've worked even harder back then. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, for them to build up the, you know, the their YouTube channels to the way it is, and for them to enjoy the things that they're enjoying now is because of the accomplishments they made back then. And also, they haven't stopped. It's ongoing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what that's what people and that's what you guys need to realize is that once you've made those accomplishments, if you want to get comfortable and settle, by all means do it. But if you want to make a legacy, keep going forward, bro. Yeah, that's like hundred percent, you know. Yeah. So you can't give up then now and then. Like, oh, you're just happy, you're content. Don't ever be content. I think that's a be content when you die. That's it. Like when you yeah. die and you're on your grave, you're like, oh, I've done all that I can. I've laid it out on the ground. Because I'm not going to lie. I, I have regrets of, this is back then when I was playing football. I have regrets where I was like, yo, in this game, I should have done this. And that's the worst type of feeling you want to get. You know, when you regret certain plays or decisions that you make. You know, I take that out of football and put it into my own personal life and make sure that you don't want to regret the things that you've made in your, in, in your, in your past. Yeah. You know, but don't let your past define you. I'm just saying that now you're in your present, focus on your present, have an outlook. Oh, okay. How do I, my, how, how do I want my future to look like? You know, focus on that and you're all, you're well on your way to becoming whoever it is or whatever it is that you want to become in life. You know, yeah, that's, true. that's, that's, that's all there is to it. People think that there's a secret formula, bro. <laughs> Yourself. That's it. You know? it's That's it. And it's work. just hard work and amen, amen, all mean, all mean. Hard work and learning as you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people fail to like realize is like learning from your mistake. That's one thing that a lot of people should focus on too. Mm-hmm. Like what, 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 what wrong, what mistake you did on your way. You know, so you gotta learn from what what mistakes you did, and you gotta adapt. Right, right. That that's makes really sense. Really important. Mm-hmm. That that's 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 what make us. You know. Yep. And we're on our we're on our journey, me and Sonny, we're on our journey still. And we're gonna give you guys the raw truth and of, of what we go through day in and day out. And you know, you guys are on your journey too. Feel free to comment, you know. Feel free, don't be afraid to speak to one another, don't be afraid to speak to your neighbor because you have one life. And you might miss out on opportunity if you just maybe you could have just taken that one leap forward to speak to that person, to network with that person, mm-hmm. and you decided not to, that could have been one mis- that could have been one move that you could have done to help elevate and propel your life forward you know yeah. i think this uh, a tiktoker was like oh nowadays it's easy to become famous you're literally just one video away from fame literally you could you could make a viral video one video and you could be just famous for that one thing like yeah. think about <laughs> it if i tell you the backpack kid who do you see that white kid that white kid yeah. right doing that little yeah. dance you know that was just that one video he did and he kept on doing it kept on doing it you know so if i tell you um like if you if i say if i just say tiktok who's the first girl that you think of addison ray oh this Bella girl Porch. 
Oh, Bella Porch. Okay. I was going to say like Charlie D'Amelio. That's like. Nah, I think about Bella Porch. Oh, Bella Porch? She, she made not. it. She made it good. She made. You know, when she came out with that music video, she made it popping for her platform. People was listening to it. I, bro, I was listening to it. I was like, oh, this is kind of catchy, bro. She's Filipino. She is. She is. She had a whole story about how she like came up from the trenches and how like, you know, I she was a little feed fat. me some balu. <laughs> this dude, bro. We I love her. I like her. Oh, yeah? yeah. How old yeah. is she? I don't even know. She's like 19, Tony? I don't even, I don't even know. She's like five years younger than me. Charlie D'Amelio, crazy though. But. Nah, I don't know. She looked like a rat. Charlie D'Amelio? <laughs> bro, don't say that, bro. No, I'm kidding. But you like <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Charlie D'Amelio? Who, uh, who would you pick? Bella Porch or Charlie D'Amelio? Charlie D'Amelio. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really, you like, really like them white girls. I like them white girls. I don't know. I, I, I said Bella Porch or Addison Ray. If I like a white girl, I like, I li- I like Addison Ray type. Y- nah, nah. Bella Porch. I don't She's know. She's still cooler. She, she, looks, she looks more. Ad- uh, uh, what's her name? Ch- Charlie D'Amelio more more looks more so looks like a woman where it's like oh okay like she's she's fit to be like housewife you know <laughs> what the heck? you know I don't know maybe that's the way I'm thinking <laughs> what but the heck? I, I don't know I don't know but I'm just I'm just having I'm just ha- I was just having my little moment you know right. but anyways I think uh, yeah. we're about to wrap it up we're about to roll I didn't even think we would uh, to be honest I didn't think we would make it to an hour <laughs> really in my head I'm like yo no, it goes by quick. It does it when we, you know, when we like, conversate. Yo, guys, um, when we get our equipment, I think the next episode is going to probably look a little different. We're going to have new mics, new headphones. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to have... Maybe the audio might be better. I love your cut, by the way. What? Is that fresh? What? Your haircut. Yeah, yeah. When okay. was it? Yesterday? No, today. 12. Oh, yeah? 12, yeah. <laughs> I actually like <laughs> And I'm wearing earrings because my, my ear was closing. Cause oh. I've been wearing a long time, so I'm like, yo, let me just. Bro, no lie, I'm not trying to have my boy, but he looked like a pretty boy, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah bro, I'm not trying to look sound gay or anything. I'm trying Nothing to grow the beard. Gay. But you look, I'm like, hey, yo, she like when man. I came in and I saw yeah. it, I was like, hey, yo, yeah, you have like he has a natural face where I look at him, I'm like, damn, if I was a bitch, I mean a female, I would be like, hey, yo, yeah, hey, yo. put him up, pushy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, guys, out. we're also gonna definitely like I'm excited to bring on guests. So uh, me too, bro. It's gonna be really interesting. I got a I got a bunch of people in mind already that I want to bring, mm-hmm. but yeah, definitely in probably in two videos or the next one after this, we'll probably have about guests. In two videos, out. two videos, yeah. So, okay, all right, all right, cool. In two videos, we'll have it by like we'll have it by the next. Because I definitely want to. We should definitely start bringing out guests as soon as we can. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I understand that, but will will we have it before the next time we do a video before Saturday? Will we have it? Will we have the pad or whatever the thing is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? Because it's two-day shipping, remember? Litty, litty, it's two-day shipping. It's two-day shipping. So we, we're going to figure everything out, mm-hmm. and then uh, we'll just go from there. We'll go but from there. Yeah. Why don't you go and... Uh, yeah, man. Hey, right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this uh, podcast. We really appreciate you guys that uh, stuck around and tuned into our podcast. Sonny, we will definitely be doing live videos soon. Soon. We'll soon, be doing yeah. some live videos. We will incorporate that within this podcast. And guys, bigger things are coming for this podcast. Bigger things are coming for uh, Sonny's life and my life. And we feel like we're in that moment of our life where we got make it or break it. So we're going to make it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this podcast. Make sure to give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys have some thoughts, hit the comments section down below. Share us your thoughts and opinions. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram uh, and our TikTok as well. Uh, that information is given down below. I'm Andre Sue, logging out. It's your boy Sona. I'm logging out. And like always, guys, see you guys on the next episode. Do more. Peace. (laughs)